So please join me in welcoming Jeff Sachs. Jane, thank you very much. What a pleasure it is to be with you. And indeed, uh, it's so hot off the press, it hasn't even been proofread, this paper. Uh, I'm, it's some you know, recent uh, attempt of mine to try to put uh, the demographic uh, issues uh, of Africa into a sustainable development perspective. And um, this is a great group to discuss those issues with, uh, of course. Uh, there are a few important reasons to, to do this, I think. Uh, the main uh, theme that I want to discuss is indeed the interaction of the demographic transition and economic development in general. And I believe that Africa's de delayed demographic transition is a very important part of Africa's delayed economic development. I don't think that these are incidental or small matters. And I do also feel from a practical <coughs> point of view that Africa could, and I'm always speaking of sub-Saharan Africa, uh, and of course I'm also generalizing because we're talking about 49 countries, so forgive me for for the moment, but I'm going to speak in general terms. I do think that uh, Sub-Saharan Africa could be on the cusp of a very rapid demographic transition, and should be, uh, for its own good, for accelerating economic development, and for uh, helping uh, the region to become more environmentally sustainable as well. There are at least two uh, pressing and specific uh, global events that I think make this kind of discussion timely. Next year there will be the 20th anniversary meeting on the Cairo uh, population and development agenda. And so 2014 marks uh, 20 years after 1994. And Cairo had a very important uh, effect on the way we discuss demography, population, sexual and reproductive rights, and so forth. And this will all be reviewed on a special event of the General Assembly in September of 2014. So this is quite timely. We're also engaged globally in a negotiating process to set post-millennium development goal objectives. And this is a process that got underway with the Rio Plus 20 Summit, which itself was the 20th anniversary of the Earth Summit, which took place uh, in June 2012. And the governments in the final outcome of uh, that Rio Plus 20 meeting <coughs> called for a new set of development goals around sustainable development and uh, gave them the name Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, and set in motion a process for negotiating a sustainable development agenda. And that's underway now, and there is a timeline that was agreed on September 25th of this year to complete that process by September 2015, when the MDGs are going to be ending in their 15-year uh, period of vigilance, and uh, there will be, in September 2015, a world summit uh, at head of state and government level to adopt, I hope, uh, sustainable development goals. And of course, the issue of demography, development, population, relation to the environment needs to be an important part of of the agenda. This is not a simple issue, as all of you know. Uh, it's a highly contentious, highly political issue. Um, and I think that it needs to become an analytical issue in these days. Uh, of course, it, it is an analytical issue in the journals, but it's not so much discussed in policy terms. Uh, Cairo in a lot of ways took population out of the discourse and put in sexual and reproductive rights 
uh, as the centerpiece of the discourse and the idea that one would look at population dynamics and the demographic transition was in an important way uh, removed from the stage actually uh, and I think that that was understandable as a reaction to the one China one child policy of China uh, or the forced uh, sterilization uh, debacle and tragedy of uh, India and so forth and there was the idea of putting sexual and reproductive rights uh, on a human rights basis as the highest agenda item, but taking population out of the discussion, which in many ways really happened, I think has been a deleterious thing as well from the point of view of talking about the substance of economic development.